The lockdowns that followed the COVID-19 crisis have led to a measurable shift in our climate. This has started a fresh conversation on doubling efforts to mitigate climate change, for which the leading body of experts have warned that we only have 10 years left to make a substantial change. An important societal shift is required to change how we deal with this issue. At an individual level, it goes to the three R's, reduce, reuse and recycle. Let's look at how recycling can change our impact on the climate. In the last five years alone, Malaysia's recycling rates have jumped from 10.5% in 2015 to hitting its target of 30% this year. And we need to keep this momentum if we want to hit our aim of 40% in 2025. But first, what does good recycling actually look like? The first step is knowing what classifies as residual and recyclable waste. Residual waste is rubbish that can be repurposed like food scraps, used napkins, diapers and other contaminated materials. Recyclables are waste that cannot decompose on its own but can be shredded, melted, reused and put back into the economy. Once you've established which items can be recycled, it's time to separate them into three different bins. Glass, plastic and aluminium, paper. These three types of bins are the most common ones found in Malaysia, while there are different varieties in different nations. It is important for your common recyclables to be rinsed out, flattened if possible, and placed in the appropriate bins. Whether you reside in an apartment complex, or a landed property, an integral part of disposing waste is separation. Residual waste must be separated from recyclables and put in the main garbage bin. The only difference is apartment complexes generally have enclosures where all residents collectively dispose of their residual and recyclable waste, whereas landed properties have their own bins, usually at the curbside. We are also facing some major logistical challenges that we need to redesign to recycle effectively. It is quite common uh, for Malaysians to misunderstand that they actually carry out recycling at home. But in reality, actually we don't do recycling at home. Uh, the only party that do recycling is the recycling industry at the downstream. So we actually only do uh, segregation at home. And the whole recycling uh, process, the whole flow, is from segregation, storage, uh, collection, transportation, and end up at the recycling industry. When you see the whole flow and the whole ecosystem of the recycling, you will uh, understand the first step of segregation at source is the most important thing that we have to uh, make sure is effective to ensure the whole recycling can be carried out at a very optimum and efficient uh, uh, stage. But the journey to a waste-free future does not only fall on the people's shoulders. Food giants like Nestle are taking the lead in adopting sustainable practices. They have adopted a global commitment of net zero carbon emissions by 2050, halving their emission by 2030, and to eliminate all single-self plastics from its line, and to make 100% of its packaging recyclable or reusable by 2025. At Nestle, we have been scaling up our actions against plastic waste in multiple ways. We are reducing the amount of plastic we use while also creating systems to encourage increased levels of collection, separation at source and recycling. We consider plastic waste implications at every stage of our packaging design process. We want to ensure that plastic packaging is recycled and reused and never ends as litter in landfills or in the ocean. Regular consumers like you and me have just as much a part to play as the corporations. Without these forces working together, achieving our recycling goals would not be easy. There has been a shift in momentum with companies embracing and changing their waste management strategies. We have committed to make all our plastic recyclable or reusable by 2025 and we are making good progress. We became the first large-scale food and beverage company in ASEAN to implement 100% paper straws across our entire UHT range. We have eliminated over 200 million plastic straws per year in Malaysia. 
We are also actively engaged in reducing plastic usage by eliminating redundancies in our packaging. We have deployed packaging communications featuring recycling education on pack. Through a simple guide, consumers learn how to easily separate the different components in the product packaging for adequate recycling. Our collaboration with the Petalinjaya City Council, where we have launched a recycling program involving curbside collection for eight townships in Petalinjaya, reaching over 20,000 households. With an overwhelming community response, we have collected so far more than 700 tons of recyclable waste. We have recently expanded our door-to-door -door collection initiative to other municipalities such as Suban Jaya and Shah Alam. And we aim to continue scaling up for the benefit of more communities in the near future. Another example, our collaboration with Tetra Pak under Project Kerton. It has allowed us to collect and recycle over 200 million UHT packs since we started back in 2016. These UHT packs have been put to very good use as they are transformed into roofing tiles that can be used to build shelters for underserved communities. Further examples of like-minded partnerships. We are in the founding group behind the Malaysian Recycling Alliance, MAREA, a voluntary extended producer responsibility initiative. MAREA is committed to collaborate with relevant stakeholders to spearhead circular economy solutions to tackle plastic waste. And internally, we have our Green Gladiators, a task force with over 150 participating employees who devote their time and their ideas to accelerate our green transition. Since 2018, we have been carrying out beach cleanup initiatives, including underwater activities and conservation efforts nationwide. And these are aimed at raising environmental awareness internally, but also for the public in general. And this program has seen more than 1,000 volunteers involved over the years with over 9 tons of waste collected in 20 locations across Malaysia, both on the beach and underwater. Recycling is not a silver bullet to tackle our environmental issues or impending climate change crisis. Sustainability is multidimensional, and while recycling is crucial, it is just one part of the solution but it is one of the solutions that is accessible to everyone and something that we can all play a part in to contribute to a cleaner future.